Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Wine Love. Today I want to talk about Brunner Veltliner, specifically in the context of the region of Kamtau and from the hand of Fred Loimer of Loimer Winery. Fred is uh, dedicated to biodynamic viticulture and is um, um, one of the founding members of the organization called Respect, which is a biodynamic organization for Austria. Because he's going biodynamic, this wine also qualifies for USDA organic for the grapes going into the wine, which is very cool and definitely something we can uh, tout to our clientele. This is the 2019 bottling of Loisch. Loisch is the uh, last four letters of Langenwiss, which is the uh, town, the village in which Fred lives and where the winery is. So um, this is a classic Kamtal representation of the grape. And what should you get from Grüner Veltliner? Well, I think this wine really um, expresses it beautifully and, and in a really straightforward way. So, uh, you know, we probably should let the wine speak um, and go from there. So I think that uh, this one's expressing exactly what I think it should. It's cross between white pepper and ginger in the nose, as well as pears, green apple, a little bit of lime, and um, this sort of peach and white peach kind of combination. There's also a, a, um, a, a herbal slash vegetable kind of aroma profile that's really unique to Grinner Veltliner. That, let's call it lentils because I think that's a really good kind of description of this game. I didn't mention it, but there's a little bit of a salty aroma to the wine too, which is really delightful. A little bit of sea air. The wine um, is, what's great about Gruner Veltliner is it's not attacking in its tartness, but it's still tart and refreshing and really makes your mouth water, but in a very pleasant way. I think that you're uh, going to find a similar flavor profile to what we smelled. Uh, the, the ginger slash white pepper is definitely there. There's that. Um, uh, lentil meats, uh, parsley sort of uh, herbal uh, take on the flavor profile. Definitely has the fresh green pear. It's got the green apple, got a little lime undertone. Uh, the peach has gotten a little less ripe in the flavor profile and it's moved more towards neck to green or um, white peach rather than, than a fully ripe regular peach. Um, the texture of the wine is bright and zippy and actually gives you a little spritzy feel across the palate, which I think is one of the charms of Gruner Veltliner is that it is very cleansing in that regard. It's absolutely fabulous with the flavors of springtime, which I'm recording this in the first part of March. And so I'm, I'm kind of thinking about the things I'd want to have uh, this time of year that are specialized for the spring, things like ramps and uh, fiddlehead ferns and morel mushrooms and asparagus and things like that are great with Gruner Veltliner. But it, it's such a great food line that it works with things year round, you know, almost all kinds of white fleshy seafood and shellfish. Uh, it works well with Asian flavors. Uh, you kind of avoid the super spicy stuff though, and you keep it into the toned down things, the soy and the mommy turd and things. All of those work with Gruner Veltman. And um, certainly it is the wine that is your savior in wine food pairings for green vegetables. Go out and find a bottle of Neusch. I think it will definitely um, uh, impress you with its complexity at its price point, and most certainly it's a great example of Greener Bell.